Hello. I've been listening to a lot of Australian and British people, haven't I? Hello. Um, yes. So, camera's shoddy because the lighting is dim, and that is because it is nighttime. Yes. This is the entire installment of Let Me Blow Your Mind sort of day. Number one, I just waited almost two hours for a shuttle. <laughs> Let me blow your mind. Number two, I'm going to try to do this with no cuts because I'm going to blow your mind. Number three, I want you to give me some ideas for a top ten list because I want to do a top ten list but I can never think of what to do. So, let me blow your mind, PLZ. Number whatever it is, four. I learned last night that porridge is oatmeal. You know, you, know, you hear it in fairy tales and everything growing up, hey, Goldilocks and whatnot. I never actually thought about what porridge was, I just thought it was just a you know, vaguely sweet breakfasty thing in a bowl, but it's oatmeal. So I'm going to be referring to it as porridge from now on. Uh, from here on out, I am going to be referring to things that I've done throughout the day. Number one, you know the FedEx um, symbol? Let me blow your mind. That is how the X goes. You'll notice that there is an arrow. Yes. Yes, indeed. There is an arrow. FedEx, you are symbolically clever. Now, what else have I got? Okay. As a question, I was wondering, so how did fags, you know, all of the word terminologies for fag? So I've had this thought. We've got the direction I'm doing. See, I'll do some sort of editing thing. We have the word fag. And that is a bundle of sticks, which sort of, I suppose, can relate to a cigarette, cylindrical and wall, and they burn. And then you've got perhaps a cylinder and a mouth, cigarette and a mouth, other things in a mouth. And is that how you get gay man? I'm wondering. That was stupid. I shouldn't have said that. Oh well. Continuing. Uh, also, um, as far as classes went, um, I had my first three classes. The first one seems like it's going to be a breeze. The second one seems like, I don't know, I'm the lone librarian representative. <laughs> the only one of us in there. Uh, it's my only non-library class, too. But it seems decent. It's a seminar. Um, and the last one seems like it's, I don't know, it's on like reference sources and services. So it sounds really dull in some aspects, but the teacher is funny as heck. And so I think it's going to be fun anyway. And there are a couple of interesting projects. That's the only one so far that I have any exams in, which is kind of cool. Um, but we've got some other things to do as well there. And she's got, I don't know, like a lot of these, it seems like a lot of my classes are just kind of like 101s for library stuff. So I'm okay with that, with as much as how much I'm going to be hopefully working. Um, but things that that last teacher um, talked about, showed, asked, whatever, were some questions that real-life librarians have been asked by real-life people, including uh, what did Lincoln do after he got out of office? How do you get dead body smell out of a car? And could you find me a map of undiscovered uranium deposits in Colorado? I liked these and wrote them down. There were others, but I didn't catch them. And that is my day. So I'm going to eat my dinner. There we are. Reheated cabbage and potatoes, which is basically what I'm going to be leaving off of for the week. Hopefully cabbage is good for you and loaded with nutrients. Uh, and Frankly, I'm off to Facebook stalk a cute boy I've met. So, <laughs> cheers.